Let's talk now about three of the most common experimental research designs. The first one is called between subjects or independent group design. Between subjects is the most common. Let's look at this box down here. And maybe the color coding will help you. So S represents the subject. So these are the six subjects in this group. The, they're getting the hybrid technique. And you have six different subjects, subjects 7 through 12, getting the placebo. Okay, so they're different subjects in each group. That's the basic design of between subjects, groups. It doesn't get affected by order effects. Order effects come into play when you have the same subjects in each group. The order of presentation of the condition can affect the experiment. The drawbacks is it requires many more subjects. But honestly, it's the most common research technique in behavioral sciences. Within subjects are repeated measures group design, uses the same subjects in each condition. This is often a situation like a test-retest condition. Obviously, an advantage is you use fewer subjects, and um, you can overcome what are called subject effects. Subjects are effects where you have one extreme subject. If subject one is really smart or not that smart, he's going to neutralize that effect in each group by being in both condition. If he's only in one condition here, he's going to throw this data off. That's called a subject effect. Order effects, like we talked about, can be a problem because the order of the ex experimental conditions can affect the outcome. Finally, we have something called a mixed group design. This is when you have at least two factors, and you have just what it says. One of the factors is repeated measures, and the other is between subjects. You see here that the boys and girls, the gender factor here is uh, between subjects, and the hybrid technique, whether you have it or not, is within subjects or repeated measures design. In order to have mixed group design, you have to have two factors.